Today we're here in the Florida Keys in the fishing capital of the world, Isla Mirada, Florida. On this episode of Celebrity Fish and Fire, special guests today, Greg Hellman and Chris Tillman from the Baltimore Orioles. Sean DeGagne and Chef Antonio fish and cook with special guests, Major League Baseball pitcher Chris Tillman. I look forward to the offseason to be able to get on the water and fish. And his father-in-law, Greg. We caught fish today. It's a good thing. Everyone is competing to see who catches the biggest fish, and we'll find out which special guest cooks the best dish. The show where jokes, fishing, cooking, and fun lets everyone feel like they're number one. Welcome to Fish and Fire. I'm Sean DeGandhi, and I'm the guide on Fish and Fire. Fish on, fish on, Antonio! I'm Antonio Smash Maleka. I'm the uh, chef. That smash part is self-proclaimed, though. What do you mean? No one calls you that. You call yourself that. I smash fish and cook fish. That's what I do. You're a good cook. You're a good fisherman. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Day out there. It is. It cleared up from yesterday. Yesterday was a pretty uh, rainy day here in the Keys, which you don't get too often. Um, but today it looks like we got some nice sun out here, um, calm waters. So we're gonna get out there and catch All some right. fish. Oh, looks like here oh. come the boys now. Nice. Hey, how, how you doing, doing, Antonio? Chris. Chris, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Greg. Greg, nice to meet you. Chris. Sean. I'm Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. Oh, Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Greg. You guys all fired up to get out there today? Uh, absolutely. Greg Hellman, Chris's father-in-law. I'm Chris Tillman. I'm a starting pitcher with the Baltimore Orioles. When Chris Tillman isn't pitching during baseball season, he reverses roles and catches fish in the off season. He does a lot of uh, freshwater fishing as well, bass. He said he's into a lot of tournaments. What I love about fishing is that it, it's something that gets you away from everything that you do in everyday life. Like for me, being in sports nowadays, you know, it's it's a long seven, eight months of, of baseball every day. And I look forward to the off season to be able to get on the water and fish. And, and when he's off, it's fun to be around him too. A little fresh water with them and the salt water. Something I can go out and get away and you know, relieve a lot of stress. Yeah. Head out, we're going to deep drop for some mutton snapper, maybe some grouper. Um, we're going to do a slow troll for some wahoo, king mackerel, and hopefully hook into a sailfish. So, got a nice flat day, so let's get in the boat and get out there and get some fish. Ready? Right. Yeah. All right, let's Still do it, guys. Okay. Go ahead. You can never have too much bait when saltwater fishing, so the first order of the day is throwing a net out and using small amounts of bait to attract an even more plentiful amount of live bait. This allows you to fish all day long in the ocean. We got rods set up with three or four hooks on. We should be good. pulling the grunts in like crazy. Perfect. Looks like the rain's holding off for us for now, eh? Yeah, it's going to be a good day. It took us about an hour and a half, I'd say, to actually catch our bait to go fishing for the day. We're running low on bait here. We're catching these grunts. So what we want to first do with this ballyhoo, just run your knife up and down and take the scales off. It makes a softer bait and just cut that up into strips. Some bait. I've done a lot of bait fishing. It's something you have to do. It's a necessity. You ain't catching fish without bait. So I've done quite a bit of it. There we go. Fish on over here, Scott. There's what we're looking Rub. for. A little grunt. Very grunt. Okay. Sound like you when you're sleeping. You, What's that? you kept me up all night last night. What's that? <laughs> okay, yeah. I won't tell them. Don't worry about that. I won't tell them nothing. Um, and then from there, we went out for, for some groupers. We ended up getting into like four or five groupers. When you're hooking up these grunts here, when you're fishing for the grouper, taking that hook through both lips, that nose is going to be a little hard. You don't want these grouper just sucking that bait off. Boom, just like that, past the barb, just like so. Here we're using a big level line reel. Heavy rod, these fish are tough to get off the bottom. When they start to bite too, you're going to want a couple hard cranks, just one pull up halfway, reel, pull, reel. You really want to get these fish out of the coral, and you also want to get them away from the sharks. So you really got to work this fish hard to get it up about 20 feet off the bottom, and after that, you can start giving it the longer pulls. Reeling in a grouper can be challenging. Always exciting when you have to wear a belt, right? <laughs> and Chris Tillman is going to find out another challenger also wants that grouper. Fish, 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 fish. Oh. Sharks. Chris did well there. He got it up off the bottom 20, 30 feet, and then all of a sudden that shark came in and, uh, and ate that grouper, so snapped us off. But getting into like four or five groupers, and those things are strong. You're trying to get those things off the bottom, and uh, finally, when you do get them off the bottom, you get the hang of it, a shark will come along and whack them. Chris has another bite and desperately tries to reel it in in a race against time. Oh, 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 oh. Lose them? Are you kidding me? You lose them? So the whole point is yeah. to get them out as fast as you can, but the second you get them out, they try to go back in, you're pulling away, they're stuck, and the shark gets them. So we, we, got, we got shark bit four or five times. And... 
Oh, I think I'm into a shark. You know, it was frustrating. Sean had a couple tough ones, and I had a couple tough ones. I think we all did, and you know, it's the name of the game. I think I'm coming up with a hat. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> wow, what a fight that is. Coming up, excitement on the water. Dolphin, nice, attaboy, nice. Greg, get over here. Antonio regrets passing the rod to Greg, as they may have hooked the team's biggest mahi of the season. We knew it was something big, we didn't know what it was. I was like, oh my gosh, I had that thing in my hand. <laughs> wow, I think those sharks caught more fish than we did. If you have any shark stories, please let us know. Just scroll down, look in the comment section, click the comment. I want to hear all your shark stories, crazy shark stories. We have a ton of them. Be sure to catch our next episode. It gets crazier out on the water. We got the boys all lined up, ready to go. We have Tillman, his father-in-law. I'll tell you what, it's an episode you don't want to miss.